Yo, 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 what's going on, Team Tweety? I hope you're all super well. Oh, man, oh man, am I feeling good. You know that feeling where all of a sudden everything changes and you just feel great? Well, that's pretty much how I'm feeling now. Look at me, ready? Jump, ready? Bang, squat, bang. I'm down, I'm up, I'm ready to go. Can even climb up ladders. Extreme! So yeah, I've woken up this morning and my ankle just feels fine. I feel like I can run on it. I spoke to Clayton and he said, mate, don't go 100%. Oh my God, that scared me. What are you doing here? <laughs> Oi, look at me. That scared me. Grr. Anyway, I went to Clayton and went, oh, yeah, I guess. All right, I won't go 100%. He said, just keep it tempo, meaning do some stuff, but don't be going 100%. Ease your way back into it. So that's what I've gone and done. I've been filming this little thing for you guys. You might see it here and there. Let me know in the Instagram DMs if you end up seeing it. But I've made this little clip, which I'm hoping to put in a few different places. So yeah, roll it. Have you been watching season two? Oh! Ah! Season 2 of the 365 day challenge to sign a professional contract is back. Trials are coming soon and man, I've been training harder than ever. So that's that, it was good fun. But while I was down at the park, I got some dribbling in, a little bit of passing, and yeah, I just feel good. My body feels great. I feel, it's like I always say, better to take off a day or two to give yourself a week. And when I say that, it means, you know, take the rest day if your body doesn't feel right to make sure that you can go for the week or go for a month. You'd rather miss that day than go out that day and then injure yourself and find that you can't train for a month or whatever. So yeah, I'm feeling good. All right, it's gym time. I'm heading up. Oh, what's this ball doing here? Quick basketball hoop shot. All right, now that that's out of the way, you know, we got to dispose of the balls when they're there. It's time to get going to the gym. I'm keen to get this session because I'm feeling better. I'm feeling like I can go there and really give it something, not kind of a half sort of session. Last time I went, the anchor was holding me back a little bit. Not this time. Let's skid it! All right, this is in the future, but I 100% have to cut in right now because some of you guys left comments on, I think it was yesterday's video or the day before saying, Sheldon, you're doing the dumbbell row incorrectly. The exercise that you guys just saw. And I had sprint training this morning. So today's Thursday and I spoke to Clayton and I said, mate, am I doing this exercise wrong? First off, what I will say is that the exercise that I'm aiming to do is actually called a lawnmower. Now, a lawnmower is completely different to a dumbbell row. They're similar, I guess. But the way you do it is different. It's supposed to replicate a running style. And because I did them ages ago, I was like, yeah, I know how to do those. Don't worry about showing me when I went to the gym with Clates. I got in there and obviously I didn't know how to. And this is the awesome thing. I thank you guys so much for pointing out my errors, my mistakes, my faults, because I go out and I work on them. So I said, Clates, am I doing this wrong? And I showed him and he said, mate, <laughs> You're doing it so wrong. So let's just say I have my inside leg over here. I have the barbell. How I'm supposed to do it is pull it up there. And you can see I'm getting that running motion. Now a dumbbell row is something like that. And how I was actually doing the exercise was like this. Bang, bang. Realistically, it's there. Bang into that position. Getting that running motion. You can really see my arm there so again i want to thank you guys so much for pointing that out because without that i wouldn't have been able to ask clayton i would have just gone about my day doing the incorrect exercise so thank you so much i try to help you guys as much as possible and the feedback that you give me is incredible so thank you thank you thank you i will be working on that in the future and making sure 
that I nail it every single time or at least get close to. And look, what I do, if I'm ever unsure about an exercise, I think I might be doing it slightly wrong. I go to Clades and I say, all right, how do I do this? Am I doing it correctly? Just to make sure that I'm getting the right form. If you have the incorrect form in an exercise, you guys said I could have injured myself. You could be working the wrong muscles. There's just so many different things. It's important to get the right form, which is why I see a professional for my gym program. So that's that. Thank you so much again. And you guys can't really see, but this is how I'm gonna get my Nordics in with this. I've never done this before. Hopefully this bike can hold me. I don't think it will. What if we get another bike on top? Alright, hopefully this works, otherwise, I don't know. Usually you have a person, but hey, we don't have a person. That should work. We got it, boys. Protein, 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 protein. New flavor today, what are we going? A bit of caramel, eh? Okay, I see ya, I see ya. Again, I was more than content with banana flavor, but hey, let's give it a go. Oh, <coughs> yuck. One, dos, viete. In the zone, here I go! In the zone, here I go! Yeah, they know I'm a pro, pro! Ugh, not a fan. No, 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 don't like, don't like that. No, I guess we still got to drink it. Yuck, don't buy caramel, don't buy caramel. All right, so it's date night for me tonight, going out with Lucy. Uh, actually, I wouldn't really say it's date night. We're just going out for dinner because she was coming home late. I was thinking maybe we could cook something, a bit of cooking with Tweety while Lucy's watching. But she's getting back from uni and getting to my place at about 7.30. So we thought we can't be bothered to cook. We want to eat at a reasonable time to make sure that I can get my smoothie in later on. So we thought, you know what, let's just go out. And we haven't actually decided. We just decided we're going out. And you know your boy loves burritos. So look, I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to try and convince her because I don't know if she's the biggest fan. Man, everyone loves a Cali burrito. If you don't know what a Cali burrito is, it's a burrito with chips in it. And I'm absolutely in love with them. So look, I'll see what I can do to convince her to get down there. Fingers crossed she accepts. Then I get to go down, have my Cali burrito, and hopefully she enjoys hers too. <laughs> but yeah, she'll be around soon. And I'll catch you guys down in Manly with hopefully the burrito. Let's pray. Got myself a burrito with Lucy. How you going? You got the Cali burrito as well. A favorite. It has chips in it. You like it? Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, this bird just flew. No. Get out of here, get away. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I still got mine. The legends at Guzmani Gomez. Man, oh man, I love this place. They've hooked Lucy up with another one. <laughs> you had eaten half of that, so what, you'll probably eat another half and then the other half's gonna be for me. Yeah, so win-win. <laughs> Man, that's epic. He's Marty Gomez, I love you guys. All right, so I'm having a smoothie. Now, Lucy, being the smart woman she is, suggested I have half a smoothie, right? Mm. Because I'm really, uh, I don't know, I'm not massively in the mood for a full one, so I was debating whether I even have one, but hey, lucky Lucy's here. Awesome either. You're welcome. Yeah, I got this down. So look, I'd much prefer to just go to bed and not have this, but now I might feel sick before bed, which is all right. A lot of people go, oh, you shouldn't have food before you go to bed. But hey, I've never felt any damage or anything bad from doing it. You just, I don't know, you just don't feel great, which is fine. It doesn't affect my sleep, so it's all good. So yeah, half a smoothie. All right, so Lucy's off in the other room. I'm about to head off to bed. I need sleep because tomorrow I've decided that I'm going to go down and get sprint training in. I think it's important to at least be amongst Pat and Clayton. The longer I stay away from that environment, the worse it's going to be for me. So it's important that I get back down there. Even if I do a little bit, my foot is feeling a whole lot better, like I've told you guys. But I do want to hold myself back a little bit. It's the worst thing to think that you're 100%, go back into a session, go the 100%, and then find out, oh, if I just held myself back a little bit and ease my way into it, maybe that wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have re-injured myself. So that's a game plan for tomorrow. We'll see how I go down there. I haven't done an actual training session since a couple of days ago. It feels like weeks when I've been going this hard for the last month. 
Not training for a couple days feels like an eternity. I'm eager to get back out there. You guys know it. I want to get out there and train. Sometimes things hold you back and you just got to deal with them to make sure that you come back to the pitch properly and not silly. So yeah, that's that. 1020. I'm signing out. Make sure you leave a like on the stream. Subscribe to me. Join the journey. I'll see you around the stream. Bye. Awesome.